Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to another Power Rangers Legacy Wars! Aya! Here on the Kimmings Let's Plays channel, and today we're looking at some surprising new characters. Ooh. The first of four new fighters from another universe. What the is Capcom that? universe? What? what? What's going on? Guile, Ryu, Chung Li, and Akuma, with more wow. Street Fighter characters coming later this summer. So cool. I think it's because they're celebrating Street Fighter's 30th anniversary or the Power Rangers beatdown episode with Tommy and Ryu. I don't know. They've never had an official crossover because that's super powered beatdown. It's not affiliated with Saban. What is going on? What I earth am I from? Oh, all right. So Ryu is a balanced uh, common. He is a fighter. He continues training in search of true strength. He's very polite and sincere. He travels the world seeking opponents who can give him a challenge. He's also working to control the Satsu no Hado that resides within him. He seeks not to suppress it, but to control it to become awesome. Because he's Ryu! The, uh... Ryu! That's right. Ryu! The... Uh, notice how his Tetsu isn't listed there. You have his Shoyuken, Hadouken, oh, okay. and Joden, and Re uh, I don't know. I think that's from Street Fighter Five or Four. Oh, I probably wanna, a combo. I want to play as Chun Li though. You want to play as Chun Li? Yeah. Well, maybe uh, after this episode, I'll let you uh, play with some stuff. I love that screen. Jason versus Akuma. That's really cool. Because Gold cool. Ranger is super OP. That's yeah. what Enway is saying right so there. He's gonna take on Akuma. Yeah. Who else would? Okay, this is so weird having Street Fighter characters in this. It's awesome, though. I mean, yeah, Capcom crazy. loves having their characters appear in other people's games, but this is just like a huge surprise. Yeah, well, it's a fighting game, so now it's officially a fighting game. Yeah, <laughs> and his moves are so awesome. Look at this. He's really fast. Yeah! Oh, my gosh. I love the fact that they have the Shoiru Ken, and it's a counter based attack too plus look a super mode that's probably like why they put super dino mode in here they had to know that ryu and company was going to be in this game because i mean look at that there's the energy bar just like in street fighter above like right below the uh the health gauge a duken okay yep. not a big fan of that move but i know what it is yeah that's uh, yeah, there we go that little super mode thing is sizzling yep we're gonna check it out <laughs> Oh, you blocked that, all right. Oh, you can bring in Guile. Yep, Sonic Boom. All right, let's see. Oh, sadness. All right, I want to see what Chung Li does. There we go. That was cool. Oh, that wasn't Chung Li. Hadouken. Let's see. So Chung Li is a four. Right. Oh, I did super. There we go! That was kind of cool. So that's based on a move in the uh, Capcom Street Fighter games. Which we actually looked at a uh, Street Fighter game not long ago. And I believe we're looking at the uh, Collector's Edition this year or something like that. There was a game that came out on the Switch, which we covered earlier this year. If you guys want to check out some more Street Fighter. And there's Chung Lee's assist. Nice job! Using a Street Fighter Alpha move. Which Alpha's my favorite of the Street Fighter games, actually. So There we go. Let's see how you... Oh, pff, you punk. Danny, come on. Booyah! Come on, Ryu, you can do it. Of course Ryu's got this. He's, He's Ryu. got this. The champion Wait. of Street Fighter. Where is Ken, though? Okay, they can only put certain characters in. Well, the four characters that are in this right at the get-go for uh, the Street Fighter characters, Ryu, Akuma, chung -Li, and Guile. Okay. And yeah, those are good choices. The press release that I have... It says more characters will be added soon, so Ooh. I would probably, if I'm a betting man, I would say Bison, probably Vega, Cammy, Blanca. And Ken. Yeah, I mean, but if you have Ryu in the game, you really don't need Ken. But he's his friend! I know, but this is supposed to be a Power Rangers game. I'm just, I'm just... Okay. This is a Power Rangers game. That, that Not anymore! Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Next thing, you're probably gonna have Ruby in this game or something. I don't, I don't know. know. But I was gonna say, even though the super-powered beatdown with Green Ranger versus Ryu was pretty cool, um... They haven't had, like, a massive official crossover. The only major crossover that the Power Rangers 
had happened mm -hmm. last year was with the Justice League. And if this opens the door for other crossovers anyway, maybe you should be uh, knocking on Warner Brothers' door because Batman's 80 years is uh, next year. Just saying, you need to get Batman in the game. Ooh. I mean, maybe if Justice League was more successful, that, that would have happened. But Street Fighter in my Power Ranger game? What? This is like peanut butter with, like, chocolate or something. Yeah. This is just... I don't know. I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm just so confused. Yeah, definitely. Dragon yeah, Punch. This is, this and is, they play so well! This is the icing on the cake, for sure. I mean, if I didn't love Power Ranger Legacy Wars already, I mean, I don't even know if I'll end up using All right. my favorite characters anymore. Yeah. Because I'm a Ryu player. <laughs> Outside of well, Power Rangers Legacy Wars, I am a hardcore, really what, good Ryu looks player. Like they give them really good moves, too. Well, they're based on the moves from the game. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking if this was like a delicious whatever kind of, like, like Dessert? no 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 if you were having a smoothie or a ginger ale or something and that was this game uh power rangers legacy wars then then having the street fighter characters in it is like putting the little umbrella inside of your little tiny drink that you like <laughs> like a smoothie or something i don't know i'd say it's like a it's like power smoothie yeah with whey protein in it or something yeah I mean, there you go just, wow you go. That's he canceled better. the assist oh man this is so cool I mean, this is executed so well, too. Utilizing the, the Street Fighter moves for Ryu, like, in a mobile game. Like, Wait, did the music change for this? No, they oh, should well. have. There's no way they could have the Street Fighter music, but that'd oh, be yeah. awesome. That I is... want that as a poster. I you want, want it. as a poster on your wall? Yes, dude. I'm calling Enway. I want that, and I want Austin St. John to sign it. That'd be amazing. Oh, that is so cool. It would make sense, though, because Gold Ranger's, like, one of the strongest Rangers of all time. So, I mean, you know... Going back against Akuma, that make Oh, White Ranger! Okay, it's Tommy versus Ryu rematch. Except, it's the White Ranger instead of the, uh... You know, the Green Ranger. So, Superpower Beatdown... I mean, they also fought Mortal Kombat. Does that mean we'll see Mortal Kombat in this game, too? I mean, that would be I something. I, I didn't... I, this opens the door to there, so many things now. Were there other crossovers, too, between Power Rangers and other people? No. And... Justice League, Mortal Kombat, well, that's and what I meant, Justice Street League. Fighter. That was it. I meant Justice League, though. This game is essentially a crossover, like, for the whole... It could have... They could release this game on the consoles because Lord Draken is in it. Wait, so Luke... Let me finish. Yeah, continue. They could release this game on the consoles, rename it next year... Power Rangers Shattered Grid and base and add a story mode to be based on the um, Shattered Grid comic series, which is a massive crossover of all the different Power Ranger universes. Mm -hmm. They could turn this into a very profitable game with a story mode. I'm just saying, yep. even if they just want to throw it into the mobile game, that'd be incredible. Um, but from what I read about the press release for this, somehow Rita finds Bison, what's left of him, who was cast away in one of the Street Fighter games. I think Street Fighter V. Oh. Bison's, like, sent into some weird dimensional thing. Okay. She uses her power to resurrect him and then uh, pulls the Street Fighter universe into Power Rangers. I don't know. Yeah. It's Rita's doing. I know that. And this is just going by the press release. I, I don't... <laughs> I still... I, I had to pinch myself when I was reading what um, Lionsgate and Enway sent me because it's like, this isn't real. This is <laughs> April Fool's is last month. There's this yeah, no way. This is May, Luke. This is not April. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time believing that I'm playing my favorite Street Fighter character in a Power Rangers fighting game. This is, and this isn't even a Mugen. This is, this is not a fan made fighting game where like every character under the sun can be added. This is a licensed game for your mobile device that now has Capcom characters, arguably the best fighting game of all time, like their characters, because even Power Rangers Legacy Wars, some of their characters model Street Fighter movesets mm -hmm. in this game. I'm just letting you people know. I mean, Street Fighter is like the highest tier of fighting games, like in, in terms of legacy. So, I mean, celebrating their 30th anniversary by appearing in a Power Rangers game, unheard of, but... Amazing. I'm just so pumped right now. 
Although, here's the funny thing, people. I thought that I would be looking at Zeo Ranger 4 green, and it's Street Fighter characters. This this really came out of, like, out of the blue for me, so I, I don't know what's going on, but I couldn't be happier. This is awesome. And the fact that Ryu is a common, that means I'll be able to get this character pretty easily. Which I'll have to do when... Oh, uh, wow, he's a common? He's a common, yep. Wow. Akuma's a legendary. And uh, Guile is a rare, I believe, and Chung Li is an epic. So think of her like a Kim character. Oh, okay. Tommy's yeah. really trying so to beat up Ryu. Is this one of your favorite Power Ranger games then, now, K Wing? Because they. Oh, this has been one of my favorite Power Ranger games for some time now. Oh, okay. I mean, we've been looking at it for over a year, hun. Well, as soon as. Yeah, like as soon as I saw them get certain characters' moves right that I'd never seen before, you know, that they have different moves for each character, I was like. Especially as soon as I saw the Zach, when Zack had his moves correct in this game, I was like, whoa, this is different. I am really going to be talking to my Warner Brothers rep, be like, contact these people, get the Justice League in this game, <laughs> and tie it in, make a story mode, tie it into the Justice League comic book, because it was awesome. Like, uh, I believe Brainiac and Lord Zed, like, work together or something like that. I, I actually still haven't read all of that uh, crossover book. But it was pretty good. Yep. Yeah, Chung Li's assist is definitely using the alpha moves. I don't know what Sonic Cross is from, though. It's not Sonic Boom. It might be Guile's, like, super move from Street Fighter V. What? Ready to go, Tommy? Sonic Boom! Oh, yeah. Whoa, that was crazy. I know, right? But the Chung Li move, I mean, look at that. That is Street Fighter Alpha, people. Oh, that's nice that you're going against. Yeah, wait, that is Tommy, right? Yeah, yeah that's Tommy, White Ranger. Yeah. Sure, you can. That's like, just like the crossover. Yep. Oh, my gosh. This is so much fun. And that is a move um, from Street Fighter 4 where you could kind of like, um, it was like a knock the wind out of the character move. I mean, it... it could set them up to where you could do a combo too as they're like falling to the ground. It's an yeah. unblockable move, I'm pretty sure, but it takes a while to utilize it. But yeah, I'm I'm actually a very good Street Fighter player, people, so this is probably not fair to people that reuse in this game now because... <laughs> well, I mean, the moves are a little different. You don't have to do all the, you know... I know, but it, it's like he's programmed into my brain like when he utilizes different oh. abilities like his Dragon Punch. Yep. Hot Oaken. I just, I wish he had his tornado kick in here. I mean, there's no tornado kick. But still, this has been awesome. In the comments section below, people, tell me what you think of Ryu in Power Rangers Legacy Wars and the Street Fighter V characters appearing in this universe. We have more characters to look at later this week, so make sure you check back tomorrow with Chung Lee. God bless and happy gaming. See ya.